angels welcome back to my youtube channel this week i took into account a lot of your requests and i decided to do a full face of drugstore only products a lot of them are favorites that are tried and true and a couple of them are new products that i'm just testing out for the first time so let's get into it so we're starting off with the nyx into the stars palette i love this palette so much Look how pretty it is. All of these shimmers are stunning, but I actually haven't tried this one and I'm curious. So I like to apply it with my fingers and that way it's going to be super pigmented. And just look at that. It's so simple. I love a good, really nice shimmery glitter. And this just like, look how quickly it became so crazy. So a minimal effort shimmer is what we're looking for. And we got it. We're just doing the other side. Oh, yeah. This is stunning. And then I'm going to just diffuse it a little bit. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and diffuse the edges. You could pick up your bronzer for this step or leave it with nothing on. I had bronzer on here from before and it's just diffusing really nicely. And then make sure you have the same amount on both sides of the eye. Obviously, we want it to be even. There we go. I'm using my mirror right down here, as you guys can see, just because it's so hard to film using the camera as a mirror. It's just not a thing. Um, okay, so I'm gonna come back with my wing done. Okay, I'm back with a dramatic wing, and now we're gonna go in with the Angel Veil Primer by NYX. I've actually never used this. So we're just pushing it into the skin right now. So yeah, I've heard so many great things about this product, and now I'm finally trying it out. Oh, I feel like it instantly mattified. It actually did what it was supposed to do. Let's press some into the forehead and see what the vibe is. Okay, my skin feels really smooth. By the way, my dark circles right now or ba eye bags or whatever you want to call them are just not... They're not in a good state because I did not get any sleep last night and whenever I don't get sleep, it immediately shows. So what do we do to counteract this? We're gonna color correct. We're going in with the Maybelline Master Camo Color Corrector and this is in the shade Apricot. So as I start getting tanned, I really like to use this one because I need a deeper orangey shade um, and this is a really great drugstore option. One of actually my favorites and we're gonna apply it in the areas we need it. So I love to color correct around the mouth and around the eyes. This is just gonna neutralize that hyperpigmentation and those dark circles that we have going on. And I'm just gonna blend with a beauty blender as usual. And you'll see that it's gonna blend out quite nicely. And not everyone needs to color correct. I've said this before, um, but I feel like I always need to reiterate that because online, I feel like they really push color correcting in a number of areas of your face and stuff like that. And it's not necessary for everyone, you know what I mean? But anyway, for me, this is what I like to do. So I do my color correction step beneath my foundation. And speaking of foundation, we're gonna go in with the L'Oreal True Match Nude. I am in the shade Medium Tan. Let's hope this is still my shade because I've gotten pretty tanned since the last time I used it. Okay, so my plan is to just blend this out with a beauty blender. I'm lightly dabbing it on so that I can spread the product first so that it doesn't just go directly into my sponge. So this is a viral cult favorite. Like everyone loved this all over TikTok, all over Instagram. Like I kept seeing every single person use this. And to be honest, I could see why. As soon as I tested it out, it was just so glowy and beautiful. And you could see how beautiful the skin looks. Um, I'm not sure if this is like a perfect match for me right now, but because it's sheer, it's kind of easier to make it work. So this isn't gonna be a full coverage situation right now. And then it becomes even more sheer when you're blending with your beauty blender, but that's okay. Like I don't mind I don't mind a little bit of a sheer look as long as I can get my coverage with my concealer. That is a crucial thing. Like the under eyes, I need a bright under eye. So we're blending that in. Got it better, just a minute. Okay. And then have a look. So you could see my skin. Like you could see through to my skin. And I mean, I'm okay with that. She's glowy. 
She's natural. She's stunning. So now we're going to put on our concealer and that's going to make a world of a difference. I'm grabbing two of my favorites. So we have the NYX Bear With Me Concealer and I'm in the shade Tan. And then I have the Multitasker Concealer by Rimmel, the Bear With Me first. And the Bear With Me Concealer, because it's a, a serum concealer, it definitely is a lot more glowy. And I really have been appreciating that for my under eye lately. I don't like too much of a dry formula under there because I find that it creases a lot more. And this one has just, I've been reaching for this over expensive high-end concealers, by the way, just for the record. So you guys know, I am obsessed with this and I use it all the time. I'm gonna blend out this area first and then the under eye, I like to leave a little bit longer to kind of just set into the skin. Normally I would wait a couple minutes. I'm impatient today. So because we're not cream contouring, so normally I would actually just let that sit while I'm cream contouring. But look how flawlessly, even without waiting, look how flawlessly this blends. This just looks so beautiful. And it goes with that glowy, natural look that we have with the, the foundation that we used. Or is that even a foundation? Or it's not even a foundation. It's a tinted, is it? It's a tinted serum. Okay, it's a tinted serum. So it's not technically a foundation. And then we're going to blend, blend. Look at that. Would you look at that? So this is optional, completely up to you. For just a hint of brightness, I'm going to grab that other concealer that I was talking about, which is one of my faves, the Multitasker Concealer by Rimmel. And I'm just going to pop it on my hand, pick it up with my Beauty Blender, and then just pop a little bit under the eyes here. So this, this is like a full coverage. It's very full coverage, very brightening, depending on the shade you choose. This is not like super, super light for me, just because my I've been getting a tan as I step outside into the sun all the time and everything like that. So I don't wanna be too noticeably bright. Um, so the shade is up to you, but the finish of this, I think it's just so beautiful. Like I'm obsessed with it. But one thing I will say is sometimes when it's on its own, it, it can be a little bit drying. So I love the combination of the two. Um, and just look at it. It's so pretty. I didn't have too many drugstore options of setting powder, but I do have something that I'm interested in trying and it looks very light. So bear with me. This is the Butter Buddies Banana Powder from Physicians Formula. And I think we need to give it a try. So let's set the under eye with this. picked up a really small brush for this. Maybe I should have picked, actually, what? What? What did he say? Um, hello. It's definitely blurring. And it's definitely smoothing. It smells really nice too. Okay. I wasn't sure about the shade because I was thinking, okay, it might be really light on me, but it's a little bit more translucent. Like it's brightening, but it's translucent enough that I think I can rock this on my skin tone, but only for the under eye. Nowhere else because otherwise it's gonna be giving ghost vibes. But look at that, it's, it's given a nice bright, just a, you know how it's in to do that brightening look. Now that I set the under eyes, I don't have any other loose translucent powder. So I mean, that's just our vibe for right now. I'm gonna go in with California Beamin by NYX. This is in the shade Beach Bum. I love this, especially as I get more and more tanned in the summertime. Like right now, up until the end of the summer, I could use this because it's nice and bronzy and you can build it up and layer it up. So have a look. See that building up and it has shimmer in there. So it's not matte but I love glow in the summer especially, and this is deep enough to wear. I love the fact that NYX released something like this where the deeper skin people can also get a good glowy bronze going. And see, look, look at that bronze already. Like I can shape out and sculpt my face with this in such an easy way. I'm just using an angled brush and look how soft and nice it's actually looking. And then I like to take it around the jawline, nice and warm so easy and quick to use. Like I'm here for this. And then I will go in with a smaller brush to just try and warm up the nose area a bit. 
But as you can see, like once I've done that, didn't it just add the life back into my face? Like the bronzer just adds life. And then for the nose, we're just gonna put some on the tip of the nose to just shorten. Then we are taking it and building up along the bridge, the side of the bridge of my nose. So the closer together you bring it, the thinner the nose will look, but you have to be aware of how close you're bringing it because it needs to be realistic at the same time. And you don't want it to look muddy. So once I up map this out, I will basically almost blend it away. <laughs> like it's a process of laying it down and then removing it. So I'm just taking some of that Butter Buddies setting powder that we just used and my fluffy brush along the sides, we are gonna blend. Oh. And there you go. I popped on some mascara and now we're gonna go in with this gorgeous pixie highlighter. This is the Rose Dew highlighter. It's gonna look so beautiful with this eye look. And I've used this quite a few times. It is very unique. It has flecks of glitter. Hold on, let me, let me turn as I'm applying it. Like, can you guys see? It's not doing it justice. The camera is not doing it justice at all. It is so cool. It's not your average highlighter at all. Like, look. <laughs> I don't know if you can even tell, but it's not your average highlighter. It's like, if you're a spacey, like you're from a different planet in a, in a good way. <laughs> I like this. I know it's not for everyone, but hey. And now to kind of pull it together, my favorite, we're going in with a blush. This is the Physician's Formula Strawberry Jam Blush. And it had really beautiful strawberries, but they, they got like faded off as soon as I put my brush on it, which is really sad but we're gonna take that on the cheeks. I love the color of the blush though. It's just really, really pretty. And we're gonna just merge the blush with that um, highlighter and into our bronzer as well. And you can see it gives you a nice lifted effect. Although I don't like to only focus on the outer cor like outer parts of the face. I like to put it on my uh, apples as well because for my face shape, that looks really great. And there are so many different techniques of applying your blush. And for me, I love putting it on my apples, but it depends on what the look is. At the end of the day, you can really switch it up depending on what you're going for. So some people right now have been loving the lifted look, which I'm here for looking snatched. And you can apply it right in this area, avoiding the cheeks, because they say it brings your face down. But keep in mind that trends are trends, and I love testing out trends, but your different techniques will look good on different face shapes, and even numerous techniques will look good on different face shapes, okay? So it's really up to your preference, and it's up to you. And I'm here for this vibe. As soon as I put on blush, I'm like, yes, we are, We she has arrived. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna move okay, on. So to for lip. today's lip combo, we're lining with NYX Coffee Lip Liner. And this is such a pretty pink. It's gonna look really beautiful with the whole look. And the lipstick we're going with is a Rimmel London lipstick. This is a color that was actually recommended by Glamzilla. And as soon as she showed it on her TikTok, or I don't know if it was TikTok or IG, but I thought I need to do at this immediately. And I also need to find out if it's brown girl friendly. So this is the shade 42. And you will see that with the right lip liner, it will work. And the shade is just so pretty. So right now it's like, bam! But then I'm gonna just blend it. And I really like blending it. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. And you can either leave it matte or apply some gloss, but I'm kind of feeling a gloss. So I'm going in with the Filler Instinct Lip Gloss by NYX, and I just want to pop it in the center. I like a good center gloss because it just makes the lip look a little bit fuller. <gasps> look at her. Look at her shining. Okay, I love how my skin looks. I love how the eyes look. 
in that highlighter that goes really well with the eyes. By the way, I didn't mention this, but I have a pimple here that it's just been living here rent free. I don't know why it happened. We don't know. My skin is just like, I'm choosing to break out. We don't know why, but let's find a setting. So spray. since we're having a glowy skin vibe for today, we're going in with the Maybelline glass spray. Ooh. <laughs> it was like, bam. Okay. So it smells really good but it really makes everything dewy. So let's let it set into the skin. Give it a chance. I'm like, so I'm literally like soaking wet right now. <laughs> but I also like that if it looks too powdery or something like that, this spray will help bring your skin just back to life. And it looks really good afterwards. So it's still setting in. Give it a moment, give it a moment. And there you have it. My skin is glowing now that that setting spray has set in. And I really, really, really love how this looks. So you can still be a baddie on a budget, okay? There's no big deal. There are so many favorites that are drugstore that I actually reach for over luxury brands. And I'm so glad that I got to touch on some of them in this video. So don't forget to let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments. Like and subscribe. I post every single Sunday. So keep an eye out for my next video. I'll link a bunch of other makeup videos that I filmed recently right here and I will see you guys next week.